Also guys, this is Vernon here, and this is a little teleport tutorial um, that I'm going to do. Um, the I put this in my video, um, the Skyrim base Monophy 3 montage. Um, but you skip forward to that bit, I can't remember when. But um, yeah, like a teleport type effect where you sort of, uh, how do I say this, like kind of disappears. Around here, so yeah, in order to do that, um, you're gonna need three things, um, and I'll just go through them now. One of these I'll put um, for download because you probably won't have it. Uh, blah, blah, shit, ah, oh, yeah, we go. Um, go on, let's go on, Cinemax. I cannot find. Here it is. Um, you're gonna need a bottom. Oh, I'll show you. You're gonna need two separate videos. One to go on the bottom, which is just basically the background, and another one on top, which is the background and just would well, basically just the animation. Because if you say you want to cut half, oh, bollocks. say cut half of them out, say here, and I'll just click subtract, turn this on, then it's all still in proportion. But if I start moving this, it's all going to get fucked up here. Yeah. So I'll just move this back into place. You should have a video with the, just a full animation and a video with just the background cinematics um, and not the 3D guy um, because when you come to fade him out it will only fade him out and um, so yeah you need that and then you'll also need the I think I'll be in here this um, smoke and sound, which I'll put these in the description. I use the purple one, um, but I just changed the color of it. The other one you can just use black or white, but yes. So what you want to do is, I'll say I want to just scroll through and I want him to be, okay, here is when I want him to be, actually I'll do it here, is where I want him to totally be back in like, in this, like where he's just teleported, let's just say. You want to ch uh, just drag this in, hit multiply. Um, that's what you want to do is scale that down, possibly rotate just so it fits him sort of. So yeah, once you've got the purple sort of mist in place, what you want to do is where it starts, you want to click on the top one, so it's just a character. Maybe just hit the opacity to naught. Probably. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, hit opacity to naught, and then once it's about uh, here, set it to a hundred, and then he's in. Just see what that looks like. Which is sort of alright for now. Um, what you want to might do is add uh, an adjustment layer. Put it below the purple. Well, we can, we'll see what we want to do with that. Um, and we just want to mask around him very briefly. That will do. Uh, put the feather to 40. And um, add a turbulent displace. Uh, which is distort. Turbulent displace. Um, the size... Oh, you can... It all depends, really, what you really want to do. All right, well, I'm just going to leave mine at 25 and 50, just to see what it looks like. Um, come to the start, click the evolution, just come to about here, and just hit that on four, just to see what it looks like. See which one looks best. Okay, obviously here we want it to stop. 
So we'll drag this here. Maybe just drag it here a bit more. Okay, so maybe we just want to bring the size of that down. So we're going to bring it both to 25. See how it looks like. There we go. Just so it distorts the image. So then he sort of appears in. What you might want to do change the color of this purple. So you just kind of color, hue, and saturation. And just rotate this to whatever color you would like. What the hell is happening? Oh, wrong thing. Put it on the purple. There we go. Um, and I'll just change mine to an orange. Because that's what I used, used it for. So now as you can see it starts distorting. Purple thing comes in. He appears. Which looks sort of alright. And what you can do is you can just pre... Let's just see what the adjustment layer looks like above all of it. I'm just going to leave mine there, but you, you know, whichever you prefer, you can do. And what you want to do now is just add a camera shake. So, layer, effect, uh, expression controls, slider control, hit P, click Alt, type in wiggle, open bracket, 4, comma, pick whip that, close it, hit the uh, keyframe button, move forward to about here. Uh, I don't know how much to do. 30. Move it forward a bit and then just set it to naught. And we can just go to effect, stylize, yeah, stylize motion tile. Hit the mirror edges and I had add 120 on both output width and height. And if it's still got these little black lines, just size it up. Not too much though. So. There we go, that should do. So if I just preview this now. So it's got a little camera shake when he's got the sort of teleport effect on it. So I'll just add another color correction onto it. And I don't know, I don't even remember what color correction I used on this. Um, ooh, I want to use a good one. Ah, shizzle. Once you've found a right color correction, I always struggle with these things because. You don't look, some of them just look plain rubbish. I don't even remember which one I used. Anyway, just, just, yeah, I'll just use that one just for, you know, if you just preview this. I don't know why, it, I always set it to half, but it stays on full, so it always takes longer. Which is annoying, but you know. And that is how you do the teleportation effect. And that was the same principle with the one at the start where he first disappeared. Um, just put the thing over, fade him out, add some turbulent displace to sort of distort the image. And you can possibly. If you wanted to get a mask about here on the top one, say that, to add a little circle, add the path, add a feather to about 40 again, um, scroll forward to about you know where he's actually fully in and just make the thing bigger just so he sort of like he doesn't appear in at once he sort of opens up if you know what I mean so there we go that is how you do a teleportation effect and you can do that with like real life videos and that you don't have to do cod or whatever so yeah, I hope this um, sort of helped. Um, hope you sort of understand it. If you don't, comment, do whatever, ask me. Um, 
next few tutorials are going to be stuff like the cinematics on text which I know somebody asked for that was quite a while back I actually forgot about that but I will do that and then there was one about how to animate uh, how to sort of adjust endorphin animations within Cinema 4D so if he's running if you want to change his arm to do something else like he's running his right arm sticks out a gun and shoots something on his right I don't know something like that but um, that is sort of what the tutorial is going to be about. So um, look out for them. And if you haven't watched my Skyrim video, which you go and check out, um, give it a like, give it a comment. And that one's already on like 39 likes, I think it is. It's going pretty well. And I only uploaded it this morning, so I'm really happy about that. So um, yeah, watch out for the next tutorials, and I'll help you as best as I can if you need it. Peace.